How are we doing? I think, actually, let's, since we have these break apart addition problems already mastered from last time, let's go ahead and bridge the gap and estimate to add multi-digit numbers. And then we'll probably end the stream for today. Now, really quick, I want to zoom way in and I want you to see this very new bit of notation. Okay? This is not an equal sign, but it's close. In fact, it's literally close. This sort of squiggly equal sign means about equal to, or like approximately equal. They're, they're about the same. And that is important because again, math is about communication. And perfectly precise numbers are not always useful. They're not always necessary. Sometimes when you're communicating with somebody, you just want to give an estimate. There are about 320, 330 million people living in the United States. I don't need to enumerate every single human being down to the second to give you a good idea of how many people live in this country that I live in. Um, so that sort of tilde equals means almost equal to. So it's almost equal to 400 and 250. Yeah? So 400 and 250 would be 650. So 398 and 251, I may not know exactly what it is, but I know it's right around 650, and sometimes that's all you need. 700 about plus about 130 is about 830. About 200 and, let's see, which one of these? Uh, let's, let's say 240. 240 is a good one. We don't need to, to, to um, estimate that. And about 620. This is another bit of rounding. Yes, we are rounding to estimate. So I love that they put this estimation right here at this exact moment in this curriculum because it's perfect. We have to round 618 up to 620 in order to estimate that the answer is going to be 860. This is about 390 and about 300, so that's going to be about 690. Well, that's about 700. Yeah, 389 is about 400 and about 300 approximately 400 and approximately 300 equals approximately 700. Very nice. All right, um, so all these strategies for adding two and three digit numbers we already did. Um, so up next, we're gonna do adding with regrouping within a thousand, which is gonna require a lot of me writing down things and that's fine and then a quiz, and then we're gonna continue on. We are 51% of the way through third grade. I think that we'll probably be able to finish this up in a stream or two, but for the time being, I really appreciate those of you who are here. I really appreciate those of you who are watching on YouTube. This is kind of a weird experiment for me. I'm trying very hard to make education and particularly math education, since that happens to be my specialty, I'm trying to make it as accessible as possible to as many people as possible, especially during this very, very, very difficult time of COVID and quarantine and isolation and distance learning, and I get it. I understand that a lot of you have kids and, and siblings that need help in math and you might not be able to know how to help. You might not know how to be able to, 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 to do that. So that is what this channel is for. And if you have enjoyed this channel, please do hit that follow button. And um, if you think that you know somebody who would benefit from these kinds of videos, please send them to professor-cunningham.com and ask them to subscribe to my YouTube, to, or my YouTube channels because all of this will help. And as I continue to build on the knowledge that we've gotten so far, I will move on into fourth grade and fifth grade and sixth grade, all the way up into high school, and possibly even into college, depending on what Khan Academy's curriculum looks like by the time I'm done with this stream. 
Um, with that in mind, you can find me here on Twitch and on Twitter at MathDemigod. You can find me on Instagram at Professor underscore Cunningham. And of course, you can find my YouTube channels at Professor-Cunningham.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a Mathematical Monday, and I'll see you next week.